All right, welcome back. Street protest rights group calls for revocation of Shawaris bail bond. All right, the news in detail. The human rights group under the aegis of Coalition of African Human Rights Network has called on the federal government to revoke the bill conditions earlier administered to the publisher of Sahara Reporters, Omoyele Shiwure, for engaging in fresh streets protests. In a statement made available to journalists on Saturday by its Nigeria's representative, Barrister Mrs. Funke Ajibola, and the Director of Public Affairs, Dr. Mrs. Fatima Hassan, the group stated that his participation in the street processions was done with the aim of inciting the public against constituted authorities. The group appealed to the authorities to immediately revoke his bail condition, but also have him face the law for his illegal action. While commending the Nigeria police for rising to the occasion by promptly arresting Mr. Shewore, the group stated that the action saved the country from witnessing another wave of protest against the government similar to those of Hashtag Revolution Now and Hashtag NSAS, which results it's described as catastrophic to the country. The coalition asks government to remain firm and not shake in its responsibility of taking actions aimed at safeguarding the country and its citizens. It's equally held to it equally held the police for rising to occasion by dispersing a handful of misguided persons assembled in Abuja on the set day by the so-called activist to foment trouble under the pretext of activism. According to the coalition, considering the monumental losses that usually occasion the hijack of any protest by hoodlums and its consequential effect on the social economic life of the nation. Only unpatriotic elements like Shiwore would support, let alone promote another wave of protest, which end cannot be predicted. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended only favors change of government through the instrumentality of the ballot and exercise that comes after a period of four years. Claiming that Shawore was acting the script of his paymasters, the group said we advise politicians whose quest for power was not successful to wait and text their popularity in the next round of elections rather than seek to instigate unrest to satisfy their selfish ends and those of their paymasters. Meanwhile, the group appealed to parents to advise their words against allowing themselves to be misled by Mr. Shawore, who is accused of attempting to deliberately blackmail President Muhammad Buhari and his government. They further decry the continuous inglorious activities of Sowari, adding that his actions were to further his inordinate ambition. We recall with sadness that Mr. Shawore, in, in continuation of his several failed attempts to incite the populace and effect a regime change, engaged in another street procession, this time on her day set aside to mark our entry into a new year. This is dishonorable. We are, however, not surprised at Mr. Shawore's 
insistence on protest given his antecedent. We call we recall that he had called on revolution against the present federal administration, leading to his arrest and detention. And given his ignoble role in this act, we are not surprised at what he is driving at. It is in this regard that we wish to strongly appeal to the security agencies to see Mr. Shawore as a security threat and threat him and treat him as one. By this, we are not only calling on the government to revoke the bill granted him, but also make him face the full rot of the Nigerian law for flouting the condition attached it. It may be further recalled that owing to the entire entrenchment of democratic tenants under the current administration, which adheres strictly to the principle of rule of law, institutional independence, and non-interference, the court graciously granted Shore Bill with conditions attached therein. One of such conditions was a restriction on addressing public gatherings until the criminal trials was concluded. In its characteristics, disobedience to law and properly constituted authorities, Shore has continued to observe that aspect of his bill conditions in the breach it added. We recall that after his bill, Mr. Shore desperately attempted to relaunch the hashtag NSAS protest, which effects have been so hard on the country. This desperate attempt by Mr. Omoyele Shoure to incite the general public against President Buhari and his government just to feather his inordinate ambition is unacceptable, they stated. Meanwhile, for allegedly breaching the conditions of the bill granted him by the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja, a coalition of human rights groups in the country has called on the federal authorities to revoke the bill condition granted the detained publisher of Sahara Reporters Omoyele Shore. Recall that Shore was arrested on New Year Eve by the operatives of the Nigerian police force for engaging in an illegal street procession after a court of competent jurisdiction had earlier warned him against engaging in such conduct. All right, onto this, a lot have been said so far on that. Well, the truth of the matter is, as a Nigerian, we have freedom of speech freedom of movement but the thing is everybody just needs to be cautious at this time at this period and that is it on this one my people meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless